Hi, this is Zach May from Zach's Traders Cafe, and I've got my trade for the day, which is to buy the Great British Pound. It's already spiking towards uh, $1.2450. I'm suggesting buying it towards $1.24. Best case scenario target uh, the 50 day moving average towards $1.27, and that could be hit in the run up to the November the 8th presidential election. Obviously, that's the other side of the pound dollar trade. Okay, so we're moving on to the USD Japanese yen and the night rounding bottom formation on daily chart. Fed December rate hike bet rose above 70% post FOMC decision yesterday. So, what are you seeing on that chart, Zach? Um, I'd probably be more of a, I mean, the, the dollar yen, uh, normally that falls as uh, people go to buying the yen as a safe haven. So, I'd probably be looking for this market to go down, but there is support towards 102, and that's really what the, uh, the trade is based on, the tip TV trade of the day. So, buying around 102.80 stops below 102.20, uh, but I think that if 102.20 or down to 102 broke, then I would uh, rethink that trade. Now, we've had sort of 70, 80 ticks at the moment of, uh, of downside move on S&P 500. It's completed a little top pattern below 2120. That now implies 2050 as a, a, a near-term target. But if, if the, uh, the Fed hikes in December, which is likely to do so, you're likely to see, still see some sort of corrective move, I think, on the S&P 500. And we could see sort of 2000 area, but obviously we had a bit of a breakdown on Brexit, but you've not really seen much of a correction through Wall Street this year at all, really, since that February low. So it could be induced by that Fed rate hike in December.